everyone. Welcome. This morning, I want to talk about a topic that um, I just received an email on. Somebody wants, Somebody said that the people in her area have told her that yonis is transmissible through hay and that if somebody has animals on their farm with yonis, then the hay that they are producing could have yonis um, in it and then your animals could get that. And she wants to know if that's true. So like with everything else with goats, what is my answer always? It depends. So I'm not going to say it's impossible um, because, yeah, yonis is transmitted on grass and, you know, hay is grass and alfalfa and stuff. And so um, if somebody let their yonis infected animals on their hay field and graze out there and they're pooping all over the field, um, they're pooping out their yonis bacterium on the field then yeah, that hay could totally have yonis in it. Um, however, um, the way this email sounded, didn't, it didn't say that, you know, I mean, I just read it exactly um, to you. Um, and so it's like, are, if they are on the farm, can the hay be infected and can your goats get yonis? So then it gets really kind of tricky, you know, very early on in my goat keeping days, um, you know, my mentor, told me that I needed to always wear shoes to the feed store that I was not wearing on my farm because you could pick up yonis at the feed store. Because if somebody walks in there with yonis poop on their boots and it gets, you know, gets on the floor, you walk across it. Theoretically, you could pick that up on your shoes, bring it home to your animals and then walk into your um, pasture and put that bacterium on your pasture. That's Sounds really far fetched, but um, why risk it? You know, like, OK, yeah, that sounds like really, really tough. But um, why not just wear different shoes to the feed store? So I think a lot of these um, a lot of the biosecurity things that we hear about that are very extreme come from the fact factory farming industry. Um, because those animals have very poor immune systems and it is incredibly easy to make them all very sick. Um, there have been some, uh, you know, pig farms that have just been completely wiped out because a virus or bacteria, some kind of an illness got into that um, big building and of course spread like wildfire because these animals are packed in there like sardines. And so if, if you are a, a confinement farmer, then um, the biosecurity, you have to be much, much more careful with biosecurity. And in fact, I remember years ago, I wanted to have somebody come to my farm to test our chicks. Um, and I contacted this person who was supposed to be an official tester. And he said he was not allowed to go on any other farms. He worked for a turkey farm in the county that had several hundred thousand turkeys, and he was not allowed to set foot on any other farm for that reason because of biosecurity. So not even, you know, disinfecting his shoes or whatever, wearing different shoes. I mean, that was just like part of his contract was that he was not allowed to ever set foot on any other farm that had poultry. So, um, you know, it, so yes, if you are very strict about biosecurity, then um, yonis can definitely be transmitted on hay if you've got infected animals pooping in that hay field before the hay is harvested because yonis can survive um, for several years. Um, but if, if somebody has yonis animals on their farm and they're walking through the pasture um, and picking up Yoni's infected poop on their feet and then they're walking through their hay field that gets more into like you know the feed store example so there's not a super straightforward absolute yes or no answer to this question it is a really big it depends um you know it depends on what's happening on that farm and everything and if you want to be on the safe side then don't buy hay from that farm, you know, because I would not say it's impossible. So I hope this helps. And um, this is why I'm always talking about like, you need to know the why um, behind it, because for most things, there is not a simple yes or no. You've got to know the why you have to know how it's transmitted. 
and how likely is transmission in given any particular scenario. So I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, post in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. Bye for now.